Hey, a pleasant happy day, everybody. This is Sportsman News. I'm Jaborek, and this is going to be the Chicago Blackhawks New Year Report. Let's check out the quarterly report and New Year Report players, because some of them were more around the 25 game mark for teams, and some are more now in the New Year Report due to scheduling time of when I record these videos. But this is going to be on the Hawks, <clears throat> um, who are struggling mightily, excuse me, not getting any better. Five game losing streak of late and a minus 35 uh, goal differential. So obviously they're a team that is 11, 17, and 5, 7th in the Central in a retool, rebuild mode. They just made a trade, a minor one, Sam Lafferty. They acquired for trading Alexander Nylander, a former fourth round pick for a first round pick um, that hasn't worked out uh, with Buffalo. And then it looked like he was getting going when he first went to Chicago and hasn't shown the glimpses sis, since, excuse me. Was okay with the Ice Hogs this year, but nothing overly special. So hopefully for Nylander, uh, he can get going now, but we'll have to see. And then they bring in Lafferty, who's been a pretty solid, uh, for a fourth-round pick, made a nice career for himself. Good AHL, pretty solid bottom sixer in the NHL level. Quality, decent bottom sixer, I would say. Um, <clears throat> but overall, with the Blackhawks... In this season, uh, they're a team that has to move on from certain people. They have to rebuild, but obviously you have no trades. So it's going to be interesting to see what they can do with Patrick Kane expiring in 2023 and Jonathan Taze expiring in 2023. Because obviously they would like to get something for them rather than nothing, you would have to presume. Uh, or is they going to keep somebody, since these guys already have their cups, will Taze be the... Taze, excuse me, be, the gets laugh type captain where he just says, I want to stick it through the thick and thin. I want to stay on this team. And will Kane also be a type of guy like that? So they'll get two basically for the price of one, where the Ducks did have two for a while with Corey Perry and Ryan gets laugh. Now, of course, Corey Perry has moved on. But uh, this team does have some fun young players, guys, some certain guys that will probably develop into solid bottom sixers like Entwistle and Kurosev potentially. Um, where Kurosev might have enough offense to be a second liner if he can really develop. But right now, I would say it's probably a bottom sixer. Dylan Strom is somebody, just for the betterment of him as himself, I think it would be best for him to get a fresh start elsewhere. I think this kid has a lot more than he's shown. He showed good success at the beginning with the Blackhawks for himself. I think he should be going elsewhere at this point for the betterment of himself. And also, it just seems like he's not working out with the Blackhawks organization, so for the, the, their benefit as well. But I think they... Didn't help out though in Strom in any way, burying him in the bottom of the lineup, similar to how AV did it with Limblum, who now gets more opportunities with new head coach Mike Yo. Um, but I, you have exciting players. You obviously have Kirby Doc. He's someone you want to build around. Uh, DeBrinkitch, the main cat, literally, you want to build around. And then you got uh, Henrik Bjorkstrom, who plays a very solid overall game. Not going to be anything overly sexy, but plays a solid overall game. And Brandon Hagel, so you have good mix-in players as youngsters, uh, and then you have the star in uh, Alex DeBrinkit, and also the developing star in Kirby Doc. So those are the two you want to build around, and you want to see which one, which of these young guys in the Bjorkstrom, Hagels, uh, Kurashev, Etwistles stick it around and stick it as good uh, mix-in players to your lineup because <clears throat> they have some young pieces, but eventually you got to decide: are you going to move on from Kane or keep Kane and Taze? Because those are the guys that you want to be able to try to get some stuff for before you lose them after next season. When they're UFAs, that's obviously trades that won't happen within the season. But that's something they have to start thinking about now because of the way this season's going. Because I don't see this uh, Blackhawks team turning it around to be <clears throat> all of a sudden uh, just on a winning path. Uh, th th they have had to have Ar Arvid Soderblom um, debut uh, their one goaltender. Uh, undrafted goaltender um, from Sweden, who I'm sure they had debut significantly quicker uh, than they wanted him to have to debut. He came over and has debuted in two games, played all right for the Ice Hogs in nine, a 4-2-3. Um, didn't get much help from the Blackhawks defense, which is uh, really one of the worst uh, in the league. Uh, so uh, they that's something they need to continue to fix. Uh, Calvin DeHaan is not having a good season for them. Connor Murphy is not having as good of a season for them as he usually does, but he he's just mostly the, the, the detriment to the fact that DeHaan is not playing well. Uh, Seth Jones is Seth Jones. He's producing points-wise. That's what you want him to do. He's still not good defensively. And then Jake McCabe typically is not having 
uh, doesn't have the statistics where the, I think that's a Blackhawks team bringing him down a little bit. Because even in Buffalo, uh, I looked back at it and I was wrong. Hayden and uh, Pirlo were right. He looked he re- really good despite all the crap that suit of a situation he was in in Buffalo. Uh, so this team has certain guys. Uh, you have uh, even Caleb Jones. You have Seth Jones because you're going to have him until 2030. You have guys that you're going to have there for a while. Flurry, you're going to end up trading. You got to make decisions on what's going to happen going forward. That's my input on this Chicago Blackhawks team. But for the rest of this season, they're just going to continue to be a mediocre team. Uh, I don't think this team's going to get competitive all of a sudden. It's going to take a lightning in a bottle for that to happen. It would take Kirby Doc. Uh, going from pretty much a half points per game guy to all of a sudden coming to a points per game guy, which I think he will be at some point closer to that. I don't know if he'll ever be a points per game guy, but more like a point seven, uh, point seven five, like closer to it, and not just like a little bit under a half points per game guy. I think he'll definitely be closer to that, but I don't think he's there yet. Uh, or a Kurashev, or an Etwes, or a Bjorkstrom, or a Hagel, somebody like that to step up with the Canes, Tays, and Debrinkets, and uh, also Kubali to maybe start producing like he did when he first came into the league. He's kind of there, Jake DeBrusque, where he started off like a firecracker and then hasn't necessarily been the same since. So maybe he'll be a guy they move on from. He'll do better elsewhere, but they'll be able to bring in some guys for him as well. It'll be interesting to see what they do there. But this has been a Chicago Blackhawks New Year report checking in on the team and what they would probably do with the future, but also where they're at now, which is not in a pretty spot. It's just continue to see the success stories of the guys that do well, that are fun to watch, like the Bjorkstrom Haggles of the world, the Etwishers, the Kurosevs, obviously Kirby Docs would be a future star. Uh, Jake McCabe might be somebody you have in 2025. You decide to keep around. He's a good defenseman to have on defense. You got to <clears throat> place Calvin DeHaan. His contract expiring anyway. He's having a bad season. And then Riley Stillman is what he is. He's just a solid uh, defenseman. So um, he he is what he is. Um, he works fine with Caleb with Caleb Jones. So it's going to be interesting to see where this Blackhawks team size go. I don't think they're making any huge trades with Kane or Taze in season unless if somebody gets desperate. Uh, but you're going to be able to trade Flurry in season, and you could obviously even trade Kubalik. He only gets paid three seven, um, and is an RFA after this year. Somebody would take on him in season to have him as a skilled player, just like I think someone's eventually going to take Jake DeBrusk from the Boston Bruins. But everybody have a great day and pleasant day. This has been the New Year Report for the Chicago Black Sox. Black, Black Sox. Blackhawks, stay safe out there, everybody. I was thinking of Rob Manfred because of the way um, this Ken Rosenthal firing happened and different things that uh, people have been complicit to as commissioners over time. When I was watching a video on uh, Chris Rose rotation, that's why I accidentally said Black Sox because the Black Sox scandal was mentioned. But this has been the Chicago Blackhawks um, New Year report. Stay safe out there, everybody, and enjoy the hockey.